So I've spent the last week binge watching videos from Luke Miani, Max Tech, and all these other YouTubers on the new MacBook Pros, specifically the M1 Max MacBook Pro, which is the highest end MacBook Pro that Apple announced recently at their October event. In this video, I'm gonna answer one question, and that is, who is the M1 Max MacBook Pro for? That is the question I'm gonna answer in this video. So if you look at Apple's lineup, you have three different laptops, essentially four different laptops. You have the M1 MacBook Air, M1 MacBook Pro, and then you have the M1 X or the M1 Pro MacBook Pro and then you have the M1 Max. Basically the M1 Pro and the M1 Max are the two highest end laptops that Apple offers. When you look at the two, you get the biggest jump from the M1 to the M1 Pro. But then when you go from the M1 Pro to the M1 Max, there is a sizable jump but not as big as going from the M1 to the M1 Pro. So if we talk about the M1 Max, this is a laptop that is dedicated for the true professional. You have all the ports, you have USB-C, you have HDMI, SD card slot if you're using a camera or other peripherals. Basically, you have everything that you need right there baked into the laptop. If you look at the M1 MacBook Pro or the M1 MacBook Air, you don't have that. So right off the bat, the M1 Max MacBook Pro is a pro device just by the ports that it offers. But also, if we look at the sheer performance, and I don't wanna talk about benchmarks, I wanna talk about real life actual performance. I recently heard Marquez Brownlee say that when he benchmarks a laptop to see if it's powerful enough to, for him to do his daily workflow, he doesn't look at the export times. He looks at the actual timeline and how fast it renders. If it can render something within a second or less than that, then that is pretty much up to par for what he needs it to do. And essentially that's my benchmark as well. I edit videos, but I don't edit uh, 4K red raw footage, multiple different videos, 4K in my timeline. I don't do that. I shoot on my iPhone 4K60, I airdrop it to my late 2016 MacBook Pro and I edit in Final Cut. Yes, there's some lag, it doesn't render as fast, but when you're looking at a MacBook Pro, you want it to render fast, you want it to be able to handle everything you throw at it, and you want it to be efficient. So who is this laptop for? In my opinion, the M1 Max, the highest end laptop, is for a professional that A, makes money from what they do. So if you don't make money from editing videos, editing photos, using graphically intensive programs on your MacBook Pro, this laptop is not for you. If you want something that is still capable, is gonna last all day with the battery, go for the M1, okay? You can work your way up to the uh, M1 Pro and the M1 Max later on in the future when you actually start making money and time actually matters. Because we've all heard the saying, time is money, but money is also time. So these content creators that are buying these laptops, they're actually buying back some of their time because when they go in to edit their videos, it's gonna be less lag, everything's gonna render. And when they go in to export their videos, it's gonna export faster, especially on the go. What a lot of people don't realize is that a lot of these topics that we YouTubers talk about are time sensitive. Basically, when somebody announces something, we all wanna be the first one to make a video about it. That takes time. It takes time to edit, it takes time to import everything, get all the pictures, all the B-roll. That takes time out of our day. So if we can save a few minutes, even editing the video or exporting it, and you can get that video out first, a few minutes of getting your video out first before the next YouTuber, that can be the difference between a few thousand views. And that's a big deal for especially small YouTubers like me, or even a big YouTuber. Getting your video out on time, and especially after an event, that's a big deal. And with these laptops, they're actually buying back some of their time by having the faster chip that's gonna export faster and do everything much smoother and faster for them. So if you're not somebody who makes money, who doesn't have projects that are time sensitive, who doesn't make money by getting things out faster, who isn't on their laptop eight, nine, 10 hours a day editing videos, this laptop is not for you. This is for the true professional. And I can finally say that this is actually the first pro laptop that Apple is shipping for the actual professional that is gonna make a significant dent in their daily workflow. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about the M1 Max Apple Silicon chips and are you gonna get the new laptop? Are you gonna get the M1 Pro? Are you gonna get the M1? Let me know in the comments which laptop you guys are gonna get and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.